The Bank of England, whose vaults contain 31 tons of Venezuela's gold. President Maduro's government wanted the gold to help pay for vitally needed relief. Opposition leader Juan Guaido's representative said the money would only go to repress the Venezuelan people. The Maduro government had agreed with the UNDP and Bank of England had confirmation that there was an agreement. The proceeds will go straight to United Nations Development Fund and they will buy the food and equipment for the poor Venezuelan people. After winning a contested election more than two years ago, Maduro had been accused of vote buying and electoral fraud by opposition parties. In addition to the political strife, an economic crisis, sanctions and plummeting oil prices have pushed the oil-rich nation to the brink of collapse. And on top of all this, the coronavirus pandemic has hit the country's ailing health system, which had been neglected for years. The fact remains, even though the UK recognizes Juan Guaido to be the constitutional interim president, it is still maintaining full diplomatic relations with the government of Nicolás Maduro. The UK has representation at the British Embassy in Caracas, and Nicolás Maduro's appointed ambassador to the UK is still here. The court ruled the gold couldn't be released as the UK government, along with 50 others, doesn't recognize Maduro as the legitimate ruler of Venezuela. While Guaido has won his first step, Maduro's lawyers have said they will appeal the decision. Guaido's lawyers have said, for now, they would be directing the Bank of England to keep hold of the assets, increasing the pressure on Maduro and further exacerbating life for the Venezuelans. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, London.